Art and skateboarding have always coexisted, but they are about to meet head on. In London, renowned conceptual artist Jerry Judah has been challenged to design one of the world's biggest skatable sculptures. And what better collaborator than skate park legend Rune Glyphberg? My name is Rune Glyphberg. I'm from Copenhagen, Denmark, a professional skateboarder. I think the best part is the actual moving of the body and how it feels when you do it. Um, you can do a trick, and usually it's the most simple ones, and they just feel great when you do it. My name is Jerry Judah. I work predominantly in installations. That is to say, everything I design is big. I've been asked by Byrne to come up with a concept sculpture which Rune can skate. I don't think anyone's ever really made like anything as big as what we're trying to create here, um, like a massive sculpture, and combine it with skateboarding. It's a pretty unique thing. Hello. <laughs> Hi, this is Hi, Jerry. How are you? This is where you hang out? Yep. This is where it all happened. Yeah. So it smells very familiar. It's funny, I walked in and I was like, oh my gosh. I think that's like, probably oh, why I love coming to work. I think I'm a glue sniffer. Really. <laughs> I'm just here to give Jerry ideas on how to incorporate skateboarding into his sculpture. This is a park up in, in Oregon. So it kind of has that oververt feel to it. No, but that's cool though. So then it comes down and then levels up, doesn't it? So that just, it, the vert it ends here yeah. and then it just carries on. I'm very excited about working with Rune in this project because I think what he does is fantastic. And two of us together coming up with something that reflects both our energies. Rune and Jerry quickly start brainstorming ideas. Jerry has created daring sculptures before, but this is his first taste of the skateboarding world. I had one idea where I was trying to create a, a mark, so you can have banks of lights over there, but I don't think that's enough for you just to do that. Um, you need a more bold sculpture, no. but I do, I do like this. this. This could be really interesting too. I'd like it to be something very pure, very simplistic, but very powerful. To get a better grasp of what Jerry is up against, Rune takes him to a local skate park. It's a chance for Jerry to visualise some of their ideas and for Rune to show the locals a thing or two. Yeah, the cradle over here is basically what we talked about building, um, you know, our coping with our opening in it. So, over, yeah, over that's that your gap, shelf Rune. basically. Yeah. And then everything goes yeah. 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 Well, Rune, show me what you got. All right. <laughs> Obviously, I'm really curious about what Jerry's going to come up with, not only because um, I want to skate it from our you know, talk today. It seems like we're going to make something that's going to be truly incredible. Jerry and Rune take their designs to Budapest to soak up inspiration from the Burnyard site itself. The venue has been kept top secret and they have no idea what to expect. I'm looking forward to meeting Rune, to our collaboration, looking forward to uh, seeing the site, Burnyard, where I can get some inspiration. Well, let's see where it goes from here. It's a brilliant building for this. It looks fabulous. Yeah, it looks like you can pretty much do whatever you want in there. Wow. Massive space. Wow, it's a cathedral. Yeah. Doing something in here to fill this kind of space, it needs to be something monumental. It's extraordinary in its construction. I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Will Jerry's sculpture stand up to the extraordinary Burnyard space? 
and will Rune be able to skate it? Tune in next time to watch the sculpture come to life and find out how stencil artist M-City plans to restore the venue one spray can at a time. <laughs>